Mizugugori, diving under throw. This is not the traditional version of the throw. Um, I think the traditional version is you're facing someone, you actually go underneath their groin with your head between their legs, grab around, lift, and throw them over your back. Uh, one, yeah, I don't like that. Um, that just feels dangerous on so many levels. Two, it's a really hard fall for Uke. Um, since they originally created a different version that's a little bit like the version of Sami Tuskanage that we do now, where you basically kind of dive in, grab that back ankle, and throw them over your shoulder, and they just do a roll. Um, but uh, since they has changed this to basically a double leg takedown, which I think at least for practical modern purposes is very helpful, and that's what I'm gonna work on today. Um, it still, I think, meets the basic principle of diving under, um, but if you're looking for the traditional version, this is not it. This is basically the double leg takedown. To practice this, first thing I'm going to practice knee walking. Um, anybody I think is an Aikido or maybe sword, you're used to doing this. Not everybody in jiu-jitsu class does this, but it's pretty simple. Start in Seiza. I'm going to imagine my ankles are tied together. They're not actually going to be tied together, but imagine keeping those ankles tied together as if they were tied. I'm going to step with either knee forward as far as I can. When I step, because my ankles are tied together, it pulls that back ankle with it. So I don't step like this. I step and bring that ankle with me. Step and bring the ankle. 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 Just try walking around your room like that. Really reaching, opening your hips as much as you can, reaching as far as you can with that knee. Pull that back ankle with you and just walking around the room. Once you've got that down, I'm going to start from a standing position. Take a big step forward, drop my knee on the ground, and then I'm going to step through. You can see my legs extended at this point. As I turn, I catch the other ankle and bring it through. Take a big step, drop the front knee, step through, just like I was knee walking, except my leg started straight and I pull it through with me. Other side, big step, drop, and step through. Step, drop that front knee, pull that back ankle around as I step forward with my back leg. Try that a few times. Once you get that down, I'm gonna add one more piece. Take that step, drop my knee, step through, and my feet are together. I'm gonna do a broad jump the way my hips are open. Take a step, drop my knee, step through. The way my hips are open, my feet are together, and not apart like this, and I do a broad jump. It's gonna create your motion as you go in for your throw. I'm gonna start putting all the pieces together. We'll come back to that in just a minute. Now, imagine this line, edge on the door right next to the door handle is the kazush line of the person I'm trying to throw. That's the line between the feet, their balance line. The mistake most people make is if this is the kazush line, they step in front of the person and drop their knee on the kazush line. The problem with that is if this is the line of their body, you can see I'm not connected at all. Maybe my head's there, but they can throw a knee and hit me in the head. I'm not attached enough to their body, they could punch me in the head or headlock or whatever you want to do. I'm also not deep enough to really get this throw. I want to put my foot on the Kazush line between their feet. If you can step further than that, great. Um, but usually I'm aiming for the Kazush line. I put my foot on the Kazush line. Then when I drop my knee, it's actually behind them, and I'm taking their base out. You can see how I've stepped through that plane. They're kind of sprawled on me now, and I am diving under, Mizukuguri. I'm looking this direction, one, because that's where the camera is, but also because that's where my hips are open. I always want my head on the outside for a double leg takedown. 
not necessarily true for a single leg, but for the double leg, I want to be on the outside. If I'm looking the other way and they sprawl on me, all that torque is going into my neck. I don't want that. I'm looking to the outside, both to protect my neck and also I'm going to be pushing with my head against the outside of their hip. I'm grabbing around the legs, I step through, and I drive. And when I try to do a broad jump, the reason why I do that is because there's no resistance. Once there's somebody there sprawled on me and there's all their body weight, I'm probably not going to be jumping at all. My feet might not even leave the ground. But I'm going to make that driving motion with my legs to help push them, and the side of my head is helping to push them direct. Step on the kazoo line, drop my knee, hands go around the back of the legs, head on the outside, step through, push, and drive. Now, when I'm flush against them with my body because I've gone deep, I'm actually fairly safe with my head. The hands are up first, you know, protect it and whatever you're going to do. There's lots of great ways to set this up. I'm not going to go through all of them right now. I'm dropping. Once I'm completely flush against their body, they're not going to be able to knee me in the head. Maybe they throw a knee against my chest or something. I mean, that's not going to feel great, but they're also going to have one leg off the ground and make this technique easier for me. Two, when my head's flush against their belly, it's going to be hard for them to hit me. I mean, they can, but they're basically going to try to punch themselves in the stomach, which, you know, that's not going to feel great, but I'll take that to get the throw. You know, if that's, that's what they're going to try to do to stop this throw, it feels great to me. Take a punch in the head like this as I'm throwing them and putting them on their back. Step on the kazoo line, drop my knee, I'm flush against the body. Now I need to get around behind the knees. I want to grab right behind the knee. The problem is if I grab behind the knee and they sprawl, my hands are going to slide all the way up the thigh, maybe even to the butt, and then I'm, their legs are going to get really wide and make it hard for me to turn them over. What I want to do is I grab low, as low as I can. Grab the calf, even grab the Achilles, even the bottom of the heel if they're off their foot at all. It's fine. Once they sprawl, if they sprawl, they'll shoot their leg back of their knee into my hand. Thank you. If they don't sprawl, I just cinch up as I'm working the throw. Bring my hands up. So I'm stepping on the kazoo line. Hands are up. I drop my knee and I bring my hands around behind them, nice and low. I'm flush against them. Then I either pull up or they sprawl into my hands as I step through and push. What I'm trying to prevent is as they sprawl, I don't want those legs to get really wide. It's going to be very hard to push them over that. What I'm trying to do is get here so when they sprawl, I can catch the back of their knees. And it looks like this. They kind of put their feet out, but you prevent them from getting their knees and legs very far. So you lock, and then you're around the side. That's why you step through so you're not still in front of them. Heads on the side, and you're pushing them over. Hopefully passing their guard in the process. Again, stepping on the kazoo line. Drop my knee behind them. The hands are up. Once I make contact, I drop behind. I'm looking away from the camera because my hips are open this way. Grab behind, either slide up. Or they sprawl into your hands as you step through and drive and push with your head. A nice way to practice this, the dojo, we have Sokan's mattress on the big mat we'll use. Um, you can do this against a flush wall, just don't do it as hard, um, but to give you a sense of getting flat against the wall. The one disadvantage of this is I can't step all the way through and drop my knee because the wall won't give. But I'll drop my knee on the kazoo line, everything else, I'm hitting nice and flat. I step, I drop my knee, I step through, I'm looking towards the way my hips are open, I step through, my legs against the wall, my chest is against the wall, my hands are against the wall, my face is against the wall. Everything is nice and flush. Just practice that over and over again. Step, drop, and through. Step, drop, and through. It's nice with the mattress because you can really go in and slam into it. 
Uh, if you have a heavy bag that's hanging, even better. Uh, this is a great way to work that, especially if it's a tie bag, it's going all the way down to the ground. You can really, or even if it's hanging a little bit off the ground, that way you can step, your knee will drop under the bag, and grab, step around, and push. Uh, if you have a bag that will stand at all, or maybe you can lean it just against the edge of a wall, and do the whole process, step through, grab, and drive and knock the bag over. In any event, there's lots of great ways to play with this. Um, also, many different setups and ways to get up to this offensively and defensively, which I look forward to working on you in class when we get a chance to do that again. Until then, good luck training, musical glory on your own.